responded to her. If you would have called her outside of her name, you would have been suspended or expelled from school. And that's what she wants. And and that's, that's what, what she wants. Want. You know, let me push you because because mm-hmm. something in you speaks to something in me that makes me uncomfortable, so I have to get rid of you. Mm-hmm. And that's a problem because I tell, I we've tell all people, experienced that. Yes, we have. You know, my counselor told me that I needed to go to a community college because I wouldn't make it at a university. Mm. And I love it every time I say it because it felt so good when she walked into my university my senior year in college and I was president of my sorority. I was a part of the Association of Black Collegians. Mm-hmm. I was I was I was a mentor and I was doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I made it my business to go to the counselors meeting to make sure that I met her and to tell her, You told me I couldn't do this mm-hmm. and I'm here. She mm-hmm. looked like somebody hit her in the face with a pamper and you looked you needed this. <laughs> with a wet one. A wet one. A wet Just pamper. Wet. Not, soggy. Not wet. <laughs> Look, I'm like, I got soggy. some for <laughs> You know, and it's like <laughs> How many people are are deterring our children? How Lots. many people, yeah. you know, along their way? When you think of the cradle to prison pipeline, Missouri is a part is, is part of the oh, top yeah. ten. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And oh, so yeah. it's like oh, our yeah. babies, by the time they reach the fourth grade, are already forty to forty five percent behind the. We're going to use air quotes other kids. Mm-hmm. So explain this to me, you know. And I heard somebody say that they had a, a three point three GPA. Mm-hmm. And you know, in Rockwood, I went to Rockwood. I was in Rockwood, LaSalle Springs, you know, Eureka, you know, that was that was where I was until I went to, you know, Melville. And what's crazy is before I went to the Rockwood School District, my my they wanted to put me up two grades mm-hmm. when I was in St. Louis Public Schools. And my mother said, She's smart, but she's not that smart. Like, I don't think so. <laughs> and you know, and when I went to your when I got into the Rockwood School District, I was right on track with everybody else. Mm-hmm. But had I stayed in St. Louis Public Schools, I would have graduated possibly two years early and would have been in all remedial classes when I got to college. Mm-hmm. See? Ain't that crazy? You know, that's very crazy. You know, how do you have valedictorians that are going into graduating and they going into remedial classes Mm -hmm. you know our our babies are we started off because of you know they say the taxes or what have you that different different kids have different things at different schools because Mm -hmm. of different tax brackets but i just want to know how is it possible for you to go to sleep at night and wake up the next morning and most people are sending their kids to other school districts but then you driving into the city or either you come into your the school that you're teaching at, but you making sure that your kid is not there too. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. teaching you teaching kids to, oh. that are the same age yep. as your children, yep. and you Ooh. know that your children's homework don't look nothing like the homework that you giving to these and other you're kids. You're okay with it, you know, and so. How are our babies supposed to feel when they're around kids that are a part of this DSEG program and they don't, you know, if they're, they're you know, kids that are a part of the DSEG program, how is it possible that I can look at my friend who go to a different school and we are the same age, but my friend is doing one type of math and I'm doing something totally different. Right. My friend tells me we both in the eighth grade and my friend tells me that, ooh, what you doing? I did that when I was in fifth grade great mm-hmm. you know how is that supposed to make me feel right. and so it's it, it's 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 a systemic issue mm-hmm. oh yeah you know and so it's like at some point in time people are going to have to sit back and ask themselves why is it okay to offer children a lesser form of education mm-hmm. based off of financial Ooh, reasons right. You know, that's not okay in any way, form or fashion. And that's why, you know, our babies are, you, we say, why, why, why are black people killing black people? Why? Black people got to value themselves. Yes, this is true. Black people have to value themselves. But when a baby comes into this world, they come into this world a clean slate. Mm -hmm. That's all. And we teach them. Mm -hmm. So if we put them into preschool and we put them into, into kindergarten and we put them into first, second, third grade and they are learning that they are not as good as the other kids because I'm not good enough to learn the things that they're learning. Yeah. You know, so how can you tell me to value myself when you don't value me? Yep. Yep. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I just had the fan April. Like, I had for real, the fan they, they, and this is why I wanted her to speak about it to get to the depth of it and all that because th- that's what I want people to hear. You know, yeah. this is and this I, is, like she said. This and is I just system- had this conversation. Yeah, like, it's a systemic yeah. issue, and that's and that's that's why it's so important for us to get into that system yes. mm-hmm. and 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 we do need to get into there and but it's hard to it's, how because we was just talking about this last night you know it's hard yeah, we they make it nearly impossible for us to get into that system 
but we know they have an agenda. That's why. But also, and, stop thinking that these kids, like my daughter's in Parkway, and I volunteered a lot, um, kindergarten, first grade, because I wasn't working or working from home, and thinking these kids or like you know i'm sorry caucasian people whatever or superior or more exactly exactly. because they are not my daughter went into kindergarten that's what they think and she was one of the only ones that knew how to spell a name that abc's pronunciation and you know what them kids still didn't it wasn't just african-american kids that didn't know right it was right all the kids but you know but but our that's that's rooted into our culture too like she said though that's how we are conditioned you know what i'm saying that's how we are conditioned as parents our parents a lot of our parents went to st louis public schools because like you know that's where a lot of I them mean, grew up they went. They, yeah they they, they went, went to the schools before the desegregation program. right exactly yeah. so you know <clears throat> when you think about it they like you said it's a systemic issue so systemic that that has been going on you know what I'm saying? This has been an agenda since mm-hmm. when, since we, who knows when, you know what I'm saying? So this is something that they grew up in too. So a lot of parents feel like their children aren't up to the standards, you know, mm-hmm. like a lot of parents feel like that. And they, and a lot of parents feel like them, they're them themselves aren't up to, you know, like I have, it, it, yeah, they're ashamed. Like a lot of them are ashamed to help their children with homework. Call us. You know what I'm saying? And, right. Call, yeah. Call, yeah. Put, yeah. Put For real. On Facebook. I gotta right. Yes. Man. Yes. Like, it, right. About? And that's why Working community, out. we got to get back to Even the community. The that know it don't be lost. embarrassed that you can't help your children. We know a system failed you. Yeah. So, and you, you know, know what? don't and be I embarrassed. Teach, I teach our five-year-old, um, <clears throat> and, and, and I, I had to get out of the habit of, running my house like a boot camp mm. because you know that's kind of how I, I had to yeah so i tried to make education fun for him mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying because we've been working with him teaching him you know everything since he was three mm-hmm. so i told and i tell him i have very frank conversations i say katie you want to go into school and you want to be ahead of the pack mm-hmm. i said you don't ever want to feel like you're behind or somebody is more advanced or smarter than you yeah. because they're not right so this is why we have to sit down and this is how we, this is why we have to do this this way so we came up with something at home well really randy came up with it to where you know it's like a school so we got like stuff on his wall mm-hmm. you know i bought him like different like abcs and mm-hmm. all that stuff we got his 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 room set up like a classroom he got a board mm-hmm. you know and all of that good stuff you know so that reminds him when i go into my room mm, that go my abcs maybe right. i should look over those that go my my numbers maybe i should yeah. then we have like a little a calendar with st- we put stickers on uh-huh. So you do your work this day, you do it well, you get a gold stick. Mm-hmm. Right. If you miss a le- you know a letter or a, a math problem or whatever, you get a red That's stick good. or a yellow right. stick. It's encouraging saying? him at home. You exactly. Know what I'm so when he gets to school, right, yeah. you right. Could, we got to get it out, outside of the school because we know a lot of them aren't encouraged. You just heard her say a teacher called right. the, the student trash. You know what I'm saying? So many of I mean, them I don't want to get into it, it but so you know, we've been kind of talking about you know um, Caucasian teachers, black teachers, so. Oh, um, about the amount of black. I, uh, mm. Yeah, I figured. But you know, yeah. 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 But you, you said, know, hey, yeah. right? Yeah. Because you it's know, not, it's, it, it's, it's an inner issue. Yeah, that's You know what too. I'm saying? It, you know, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like when we talk about police. When we talk about black police yeah. officers, you know what I'm saying? If you, you're in a system, you know what I'm saying? And you have to do, and, yeah, and, and it's like, you know, you conform to that system you conform to what's around you and that goes back to like our how we <laughs> you ain't there <laughs> we are, you couldn't wait like we got 15 minutes bro like <laughs> you could <laughs> right and he finally gonna want to pop it over <laughs> that's what you get no he no he dropping it being but um yeah, but Man, you know what I'm saying? They go, <laughs> like she said, what what's going on inside of you? We The healing that we have to do ourselves as a people, um, what's going on inside of you? That's why I said, I mean, we need more teachers, but we need the right type of teachers. You know what I'm saying? We can't we can't just say we want that's black. Right. Yeah. And that's what Ronika said, too. You know, we, we can't just say we want black more black teachers in the school. What We need the right teachers in the school. And they don't you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they care. Yeah. yeah. It, it, you know, you got to you got to be right. right. You yeah. got to be healed yourself. And then before you can go in and, you know, try to heal and teach anybody. Teaching is a part of healing. And it's, that's what I, I, I really want people to get to. You know, when you're teaching these children, this, like she said, a baby is more than a blank slate. 
So they're coming into you to learn something and you have to you have to give healing along with that because like she said you're going to have struggles. They're going to have struggles. Mm -hmm. You do not want them to fe feel defeated by mm -hmm. their struggles. You have to <laughs> I'm not going to play this. <laughs> but um yeah, you have to um teach them how to keep healing and overcoming their struggles mm -hmm. because if not then they're going to this is what they you know they become you know um have low self esteem they don't you know they they're not learning how to to um control their emotions they're not learning certain cope. things right how to cope even within the classroom too you know what i'm saying that's different when your child enters into a classroom that's a whole different world yeah. so they have to learn to adapt I want, they have to learn how to, to be yeah right. you know what i'm saying so that that a teacher has to to, to help prepare them in that classroom you have to help heal them they, over the struggles that they're going through when they come in there and this is a new environment i'm coming into a new school around new right. people around a, a new building eating new food having new Thanks. rules having new classroom you can you it's so much that they go through and I, and I hate when people say oh kids they don't go through nothing you your your brain is learning everything daily as an adult you you're not learning you know what i'm saying you're not learning the ropes you can you imagine how and I I imagine that's why we don't we can't really remember our memories as children. Can you imagine how conflicted Girl, you mind. feel? I, I, how how far back do you? Girl, four or five work. years old. See, I okay, remember. but y'all can. But can know. you remember how conflicted you feel as a child when you experience shell shock? You know, you experience these different things for the first time in your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. You I could just imagine. How it would feel. I don't remember mine that far back, but I remember when I was younger. But you know, it. I can imagine that's why most people can't because that's something that, that could be traumatic. Yeah, yeah. I remember the traumatic. That's where it go back. So, right, you know, so right. It just depends on the person. But I did want to mention the fact that if y'all know this, the St. Louis Public Schools. What's the ages they're starting to bring in? They said they three. starting all. Oh, see, start three years. Why do y'all think they starting to bring the kids at three years old? So they can damage them earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they said I, because when they come in, y'all disregard. <laughs> <laughs> they're saying our kids ain't ready. Yeah. When they coming in four or five, so they like, okay, let me get them at three. Yeah. So we can educate no, them. No, you just you get shit. ready as a teacher. To, I don't understand it. They want to keep but making the, these changes to the kids, the kids. Make changes to the teachers. Yeah. That you know what I'm saying. That don't even make sense. You you they're not ready at four. But a lot of kids don't even. A lot of parents don't even put their kids in, in preschool school at five yeah. though for kindergarten. A lot of kids don't start school. You'll be surprised true. how many That's kids true. don't start That's school true. until true. six or seven. Yeah. But they can start at five. Yeah, at the right age. Was well, so, real relaxed when they go to the Yeah, yeah. They really so. But like my, my two year old, he can count to twenty. How many two year olds can count to twenty? Or you yeah, know, you doing stuff with him. At yeah, home. yeah, yeah we doing stuff, stuff with him at home. So he, I mean, I would only, I, I wouldn't put him in the St. Louis Public Schools. I don't care if it is free a whole day. Mm -hmm. I hope my district do whole day free for three year olds. Then he gonna go there. But I mean, they they trying to educate. They trying to do something. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to educate your kids at home. Most parents Sizzle, believe right. it's the, uh, the the teacher's job to do that, but from right. zero to five is when the child is molded right. into who they're going to be for the rest of their life. Right. So that's the parent's responsibility. Right. They'll bring them at five and don't know how to tie their shoes, spell their name. My daughter four can do all right. of it because I've taught her that. But most parents going to put that on somebody else right. and then get mad when it's not done mm -hmm. right, right or something is quote-unquote wrong with right. the Right, or then or the teacher <laughs> call and be like, your kid doing this. So then you get home like, why you act like this? You know I teach you better than did you really teach me? Boom. <laughs> did you really teach me better? Because I just saw you fight with my daddy girlfriend at Walmart. So did you teach me better, mama, for real? <laughs> and, and Kaden will say that. <laughs> my, my children. He's very vocal. Yes. You know, I, I think that the expectations across the board, we all have to put the expectations on self. You know, we're we're we're... You know, in society, we often say that it is this person's responsibility or that person's responsibility, you know, and actually it's everybody's responsibility because within the community, if you see a young mother that has three or four kids and she's struggling and she's trying to work and she's trying to hold down a household and everything else, she she really honestly doesn't have the time to educate those babies the way they deserve to be educated. Yeah. But if you see this and you interact with this mother, help 
her instead of because of what we do in our community.